Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and on this one, we're going to look at some of the karate with Chris Hay. And it'll be okay. You're just a sad laugh of a little man, really, aren't you? Who's Chris Hay? It's a pot kettle. Ah! And big where it counts. In the heart. <laughs> so first of all, before we get into the dangerous stuff, Looking at you. Yeah, I know you are. Chris Thanks. is just going to go through the principles. Uh, he's going to show you exactly what he means by the rolling block. And in fact, I'll go and have a cup of tea. Two sugars. Kettle's on. Right. I'll have one, please. So I'm going to get a cup of tea. At least I'm making one. Oh. How many blocks in karate, Dan? One. So, uki means to receive. So, these are receiving techniques, not blocks. So, we've said this so many times, if he goes to punch me, and I do a classic career. No, that's perfect. If you thought he'd done something wrong there, that's proving the point. But, when we are, we spar, and we've got all these blocks, we actually use the principle of the Jodan Yuki, uh, Ude Yuki, Sota Yuki, and it's this roll. So, if he's throwing that punch, I don't need this big motion, I need this roll. So, it's not a big motion, so I can. We don't say block when we do our system. We always say strike the arm. And then we've got that, he's dead side, and we can do our techniques. But, Dan, mm. will it work with a cane? Please no. <laughs> Please no. I can speak, Dan. What we'll do, do it slowly, then we'll show you on a Joe so you can see the effect. Not on his arm. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Kev. <Kevin. laughs> So this will be for close in. If we can get distance, brilliant, we can do our big motions. We say this all the time. But if he's hit and he throws that, I may not be able to control that with this arm. If this is here, if I tap the arm, probably hurt. If I'm doing my 360, 30 degree block, I'm just gonna, I'm just flexing my wrists. I'm good at that because I do a lot of hand skills at work filing and drilling and hacksawing, a bit of helicoiling. So whatever punch he throws, rather than just stopping, when I make contact, I'm rolling. I might have come this way, I'm rolling. I'm not doing these big motions. There's a downward side. He's got a beer bottle, imagine me beer bottle. Yeah. I'm flicking. So it's just these motions that we're looking for. Very short, very simple. But very quick. I think if we work on a kick, doesn't want to try it. But what we'll do, we'll grab a Joe and we'll show, we'll show you how much force you can actually produce. Dan's got a Joe. In fact, Dan lives for his Joe. In fact, you could be a Joe Dan. I like it. <laughs> so, I'm going to be in a ready position for this. So, this is just the drill to get the action. So he's going to give me a classic straight punch. So normally we would be doing a two-handed block, windscreen wiper block, but I'm here already. I'm not going to do much body movement because I might not be able to. So I'm just going to go with that, just that knock. I might be coming in inside or outside, outside to the inside, and it's just a very short roll. Same with the arm, but obviously I wouldn't hit a bow or a joke with my arm. Not just yet. Nice downward beer bottle strike. Watch for the lights. Watch for the <laughs> lights. So, normal block, that would slide down. Not a good idea. I've got a nice roof block, but when he's doing the block, do the strike again for me. I'm going to flick. So, that is a big motion. That's very easy to see coming when you know what you're looking for, if you're not distracted. Nice roundhouse. This is nice and easy. That's the flick. Practice these by having the stick stationary to start with. Just roll, roll. Then add a bit of force, swings it in. And then when you feel really comfortable, you can have random attacks. Now he's gonna try and groin me. <laughs> Please do. But as he brings that up, so I can stop it. That's force on force. I'm gonna assume my cane is mightier than his shin. But if I just add to that, 
you're going to get that as well. But, I hear you ask, if Kev has a question, he's signing to me and passing those thoughts. Can you do it one-handed? I can. Like you're just showing off. So bring up the stick down. So just hold it for me. So, brilliant. What if I've got, like Kev, hang on, I'll do my Kev impression. I'm such a handsome, talented guitarist. Don't you all wish you were like me? Sorry, bass player. He's not a guitarist. I'll get that wrong. Don't dare insult me. I, nobody likes a tambourine player. Well, do you know what this technique needs? More cowbell. So, he may be in his ready position. He's got his tripod. Got the roll. As powerful, but strong enough. Yeah. Sure. It would be effective. Worth practicing one-handed. So it's just this roll. This side. This is a downward strike. This will be quite difficult. So the angle is very important. So if you don't get that rolling as well, it will slide past. So as he brings it down, I'm, that would be an arm that stick. Go on, kick me, I dare you. So roll. So rather than just bringing that down, you are flicking it down. And it's just these wrist motions. We've done these so many times. But because I'm not careful, I can then dual wield. Uh. Right guys, thanks for watching. We hope you liked the video. Don't forget, drop a line down below. Let us know what you think and if you want to see anything. So don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Don't forget to ring the bell. Ding! Yeah, rotisserie ferret. Don't forget, free the fear. Good job. Know. And as always, unleash the beast. And down below, 30 degrees. Down below here, green screen What do you think? Was it a single one? Hang on, really, really now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's my hand. Oh, it goes. Oh, that one. Yours comes up. How's yours go, Kev? Which way does your wiper swing? <laughs>